Hello, in this quick video, I would like to show you how easy it is to use PiffLab in your web browser. Um, so you start by Googling for PiffLab and you go to the MathWorks file exchange um, to the PiffLab page. And then you can click the button open in MATLAB Online, which will open MATLAB Online, of course. You can enter your login details. So you need a MathWorks account. And if you don't have a MATLAB license, then that is not a problem because you have 20 hours of MATLAB online free per month. And after another confirmation dialogue, the add-on manager will actually install PIFLAB and also the PIFLAB app. So it's a PIFLAB toolbox and a PIFLAB app, which is actually the same, but yeah, that's just the way it is. Um, you see it in this list here. Um, so it is probably installed. And now you can go to the apps panel in MATLAB online and then click on the PIFLAB app icon, which will start PIFLAB. When PIFLAB is started, I would recommend to uh, switch your web browser to full screen. Often the button F11 is the correct one to press and then you can rescale the window. And then you can just uh, yeah, uh, open the example images for, uh, for example, but you could of course also open your own images. But be, when you want to open your own images, you have to upload them to MATLAB Drive before, which is also free and possible, but you cannot directly get the data from your hard disk. You need to upload it first. Here I'm drawing a mask, so I'm doing all the steps that you would usually do when you are performing a PAV analysis. Um, just setting up some steps. It's not important that you actually follow what I'm doing here. Um, it's just to show you that you can do everything like with a full MATLAB version on your computer, but everything is done in your web browser, which is pretty cool. And you can also do it on your tablet or on your mobile phone even. So this is actually pretty funny. I'm doing some post processing here, applying everything to all frames. So more validation here with a correlation coefficient filter bit too high, but with 0.3, you get a valid detection probability of 95.4%, which is pretty good. I'm just applying some small smoothing to get rid of some measurement noise. And then I'm displaying the velocity magnitude. I would also like to show you how I calculate the mean velocity, which is done here. I can again display the uh, magnitude, so the mean magnitude in this case, and then I can easily draw a line, for example, after the um, nozzle of this, um, this little uh, water pump, um, and I can plot or extract the velocity magnitude along this line. And of course, you can also export all the data as an image, for example, or if you want to have the raw data, you can also export it as a mat file. Um, you can save again only to your MATLAB, MATLAB drive um, folder. Um, but uh, that's what I'm showing right now. You can, of course, download um, everything from your MATLAB, MATLAB drive folder easily. So first I have to quit PIVLAB. And then you see that the uh, output image, a PNG file was saved here in your MATLAB drive folder. I'm saving it to my desktop. And just to show you that this really is working, I am now again opening the file and you see that everything was generated in your web browser. Um, yeah, and you have a full PIV suit that you can work with. Thanks for watching.